We're back again with another Hammer House of Horror episode review. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode and for any of you eagle-eyed watchers out there uh, I am still wearing the same hoodie and the same hat literally the last two episodes before this one of Hammer House of Horror I've been shooting back to back and uh, yes, the sensible thing would be to change my hoodie between shooting different episodes but I'm lazy bum and that isn't why I'm still wearing the same getup. Um, this episode is Carpathian Eagle and we're coming up very close to the end of the Hammer Horror box set. Hammer House of Horror box set, sorry. And there's only two more episodes after this one. And I did say it in the last episode that I did think I found the weak link in the series. And so far, I have to say, Carpathian Eagle has proven to be that so far for me. This was nothing drastically great in this episode. Uh, basic synopsis of it is, a serial killer rips out the heart of his victims and Detective Inspector Clifford is in charge of the investigation without any lead. While listening to the radio he becomes aware of a bestseller in which the killer also removes the heart of his victims and Clifford meets the writer Natalie and she tells him that the character was based on a countess that lived centuries ago. Uh, Clifford asks for an appointment with the descendant Mrs Henske who becomes his suspect number one. Although under investigation, the murders do not stop and Crawford tries to find all her clues. Um, that little synopsis came from IMDB. Um, stars Anthony Valentine, Suzanne Daniel, uh, Cyan Phillips, Barry Stanton. It is, don't get me wrong, it's a very good episode. It's. It's incredibly well written. The acting in this episode is probably some of the strongest in the series so far. But the actual way that it was shot didn't leave anything to the imagination. Like, you know, the first thing that struck me at the beginning of the episode, you see the first murder happening. And, you know, the guy's pulling parallels from this book, The Killer as a Man the first killing we see is by a woman and you know it's kind of like a basic instinct sort of a vibe going on here but when we meet the author of the book and the, the second killing that we see they don't bother to try and hide who the killer is it spoils itself at the very beginning well pretty much the very beginning like 15 minutes into this episode you as the viewer know exactly who the killer is and I think this episode would have went a lot smoother and better for the viewing experience if they held back a little bit longer and given the viewer the answer as to who the killer was they didn't do that kind of destroyed the episode for me but again very well written very well acted and uh, yes basically this this writer finds an idea for a new novel to do with murder basically and kind of self promotes the book by becoming a copycat killer of the person she's writing about and it's, it's kind of like you know self promotion through murder sort of deal going on here and that's confirmed at the end of the episode when uh, she's almost caught before the end of the episode by this inspector but she has managed to cover her tracks that well whenever they do confront her on the subject they, they think they've got the proof but actually come from a hair of getting it and then she gets away without being accused of anything so she takes out the inspector in the exact same way takes him out of the equation and done so artfully that the rest of the police force still have no idea who she is and the end of the episode is her going find a new subject of a murderer and the closing scene is her 
for the first time getting dressed up as this new killer alter ego. Uh, again, guys, it's not a fantastic episode, but you know, if you're a completist, you get the box set, you want to watch the whole thing, this is definitely worth checking out, but you know, going in ahead of time. Uh, I don't believe I've really spoiled this one for you because of the, the episode very, very swiftly spoils itself for you by giving away the killer far too quick and it I, you know again I feel if they had kept her identity as a killer a secret for the longer in the episode you know it would have definitely been a better better viewing experience but yes uh, you can't win them all guys hopefully the last two episodes in this box set make up for this one mm -hmm.